All right, so it has been a minute since I've created any any recordings, which is quite sad. However, we're going to start about these series, and I'm going to try to be as consistent as possible. It's just I had a lot, a lot of stuff that I needed to do during um, the period that I was out. But I'm going to try to to get stuff up and running from this point. Now, what I want to do is just continue on the project that I that I was working on. So basically, what we're doing is we're creating some simple view, Udify components from uh, the Udify view JS uh, component or front end design library. So we're just gonna continue on that. Uh, my machine may sound a little, a little uh, heavy or the fan. I'm not using I'm using a Linux. Uh, operating system at this point and uh, you'll notice the difference is much faster and stuff like that it's just that it, it seems to use a lot more CPU power probably but, it, but it's much better than Windows overall in my opinion but let's not get into that so let's get started the first thing that I have here you can see I have the terminal open what, I, what I'm gonna do is basically just to start uh, let me start the server. I don't remember if I did this in Yarn or or anything, but it doesn't really matter. So what I'm gonna do is just do a npm uh, serve or Yarn server, I should say. If you're using npm, you can just do npm run serve. Maybe I should have watched the, the previous video to see which one of the package managers I use, but I don't remember. It doesn't. It doesn't really matter, anyways. Uh, to some extent, the iron is probably faster. But this is a project here. I'm just gonna leave that to serve in the background. But this is a project here. What we're doing is basically creating uh, components and uh, then we just add them to our app because we do not have the view router. Maybe later on in the video or uh, moving forward, I will decide whether or not I want to add view router to this project I mean you guys could could also suggest this in the comments but for now what we're going to do is basically just comment this out uh, well not now we're basically gonna just add the other component to, to this so what we're gonna do now is just to add the new file and this is our forgot password component and it's a doc view file so in here, we're basically gonna go ahead and say, we're gonna add our template. And again, I do have some little plugin snippets. Let me see if I can find them in here. In there the packages. There, there basically are just some simple packages. I think I would have shown them already, so I probably should remember it's some stuff that are used for view and also beautify so we have the snippets atom beautify i have this one but it's not necessary for this project this is really good for formatting text language view for view uh support and um language beautify these all give give some support to, to this thing let's get started like get get back to this that we're doing now what I want to do now is to basically say uh we're just gonna put a V app in here. What we're creating is a forget password as you can see here. I think I mentioned that already. And let us add a V main. The one thing that this snippet doesn't really help me with this V main, but let's leave that as so can always just write it in. So it's, so we have a V app and we have a V main and we're gonna put it in a container. And uh, that's just to help us with some alignment. Uh, next thing now is to add a V row, which is gonna help us really, really well. Cause we're gonna go ahead now and center everything. So we're gonna say align. So it's pretty much gonna be similar to the login page our logging components are gonna just if align the center and also justify this to the center as well and uh, i also want to have it dense so it's 
somewhat smaller than usual. The next thing to add here is the V column. And for the V column, uh, let's start out by initializing all the columns to be 12. But even though this is the default for me, I think it's always a good idea to add it. And um, then we're gonna just make when it's small, we want it to be eight. And for the medium and large, we're gonna make it four. So that's how it's gonna. That's how how many columns it's gonna take up, or the width, or or whatever. So that's that. The next thing that I want in here is for us to have a card and this card basically is just gonna have an elevation of zero and i'm gonna use again i think i had mentioned that there's two types of elevation that you can use the one like this and the other one that you can add it in the card but i prefer that this one which seems to be more attribute based type and um i guess we could just add a somewhat of a title or something i don't know let's just put it in a div and have we have a class let's just center everything on here so take center and this is all beautify uh, library or i should say class so let's beautify class and have and have the the title here so we're gonna go ahead and say forgot password and just leave it at that but before i'm just gonna save let's see what the terminal has so it's already running i think i can just open this in my favorite browser i guess but it's not gonna show so meanwhile the browser is open opening i'm gonna save that for it to show we do not have the view router so what we have to do is just bring it in our app that view here so we're just gonna comment this one out. Well, here's the browser open in there. So basically what we're gonna see is is just um the login page that we had before. That's pretty much what we're going to see. Uh for here we're gonna just go ahead and I don't think I have ES lint on this, so it won't scream at me if I if I do that. If I leave this like that, so I'm gonna go ahead and say forgot password in here so we can see what we what we have. And then we can basically just copy this and import it. So forgot password. Just paste it all here and add this component down here and save this. See what our terminal have has. Alright, so we have an error and login component has been registered but not used. Alright, so I guess we probably have to I myself up. no. I, I don't like to do that. I don't like to so, so I want to keep them in there. So what I what I usually do is just do a V if and um equate this to false so it, it won't show, it won't register on the DOM. So see, it should not work. Let's see what we have here. So all we have is forgot forgot password, which is okay. Uh, let's get back to the development. So right in here, no, we're gonna add more content. So for one, I think I wanna get this. You can see that it's it's really at the top. So we're just gonna bring this down. So we're gonna say margin bottom, and we're gonna put that to two. From here, what I wanna do is just add a paragraph to say something like, we will send you send a password reset link to the email to well if the email is, is attached to the account so we're gonna say the email attach of we will send a password reset link to the email address of of the connected account so you need to so basically you need to enter the correct one so we're just telling them that so they need to know that. So when they send up send the email, it must be to the, the, the correct account at least. And I think that's pretty much that. 
next thing I want to add here is that image that we had. I mean, I mean, I guess we could use a better image, but I'm just working with one image for now, and we want it to be a link as well. So that's why I'm adding uh, the a the a the anchor tag. So we're just gonna go the image we have file we're working with here, and this was at source or assets actually source yeah then asset then then images what's that one called images well actually it wasn't that images it was just right there in assets so we'll just leave that as is and uh, obviously we're gonna have our alt text so this will be our what's this or view component image or get a file comp image our logo and uh, we're gonna contain the height just the same as what we had for the next one so we're gonna contain and have the height to be 200 just like what we had in the previous one so it's gonna look pretty much the same uh, why is this not working there we go 200 so that's that's pretty much it I mean I don't need this so let's just leave it uh, like this yes yeah, that's, that's much better and that's pretty much that so from here let's just save this and look at it in the browser there we go this we may change this probably we may change this depends on how I feel but I mean it's okay for now it's probably too wordy I guess all right let's get back here uh, same place within the card and I mean most of these are gonna have them in a V in a in a in a V form or a form tag so now that's what we want to do because you know we're gonna submit this thing well here we can put it in the V form we don't necessarily have to put everything in the V form but I think I had illustrated already that pretty much all you have to do is do add submit to to get this and you have like a function in here to actually get that to, to work so but we'll just leave that as is or yeah that's pretty much that or add click or whatever on a button and it will be submitted so basically what we want here is just a v text or a v form v text form and it's gonna be just one and that's just to get the email address so we just want to have a label here to say well you need to enter your email address and that's that I need to format this a little bit better like so oh. yeah. so that's better I'm gonna have them in line going down like this and then we're gonna give it a name and this is going to be email it doesn't have to be uppercase or have any case in I want to prepend an icon on this as well so this will show like the email icon so it's gonna be inside inner so we're gonna say inner icon so we're gonna prepend an inner icon and we're using the MD email right there perfect the type is going to be of email could be our text I mean is there an email type? I literally don't don't remember. Let me just do a quick check. Well, no, actually, uh, I do believe there's an email type, but I'm gonna leave it as text because I'm not sure right now. I probably should know that, but but for some reason I I don't know. I think there's an email type though, and let's just have this not rounded because we don't want it to be to have any rounded edges. It's supposed to be like. Uh, sharp edges so let's say outline that's pretty much that next thing that we want to have to have here is a v button so this is the button that we're basically basically that we submitted on so we're gonna say reset password this is the text that will be viewed or will be seen let's have a class here to get this rounded as well and initialize that to zero or just say zero so that we have that sharp edge and uh, I believe the color that we're working with was black so we're gonna continue on that road and we have black 
we're gonna have this to be a large button and it's gonna take up we're gonna use black uh to take up all the space i'm gonna have this dark so that it makes the text uh light so let's save this look we'll at the terminal there we go and this is our forget password component i'm not seeing the email so something went wrong the email icon so something went wrong so let's try to fix that uh where is that now so oh, i had three of those so let's save that again and we should now see it, see it so there we go so probably we should have a better icon here but this is pretty much okay for now so we'll send your password to reset your stuff and probably this will link us back to the home page or whatever uh or it'll automatically submit us back to the home page but that's pretty much it so we have a forgot password component at this point which is pretty awesome so thank you guys for watching and i'll see you in the next one